Hi, I'm Ross with Sky Management, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about painting, because in the multifamily business, we turn apartments around all the time, and we're constantly having to repaint units. So there are a few tricks that can make this cheaper, faster, and easier for you uh, moving forward. One thing that I would recommend to everybody is start with a neutral color. This is kind of a beige color. That's a, like a yellowish beige color. That's light. Uh, it's easy to match. And then you're going to want to buy the same paint every time from the same place. Uh, we've been going to Sherwin-Williams, but if you go to uh, any paint store, as long as you're going to the same one every time and getting the same uh, machine to mix the paint so that you're getting the exact same blend, that way you can come back and you can touch up your walls without having to do the whole thing. Uh, unless you've had a problem where somebody's been smoking in the unit or something, then you're going to have to repaint all of the walls and ceilings and it's a mess. But if somebody lives somewhere for a year or maybe two years and hangs some pictures, you can go in and kind of touch it up and it'll save you a lot of time if you don't have to repaint the entire apartment. Here I'm going to talk to you about blending. So I've got some nail holes that I've patched from where somebody hung some pictures and I want to paint over them to, to blend it in. You're going to want to paint the spot where the hole was but you don't want to stop there because you're going to end up with the lines around and it doesn't blend in really well. So what we're going to do is we're going to feather it. So once you've painted where the hole was, then you're going to real lightly go out away from that in different directions and kind of go over it a couple times. And don't push down on the roller, just go real lightly so that you can get kind of half coverage around it in an area. And then when the paint dries, you won't be able to tell where the spot was that you painted thickly and how it's blended and feathered into the rest of the wall. Something that's going to be really tempting to do is going to be just paint around all of the switch plates and the socket plates. Uh, getting the brush out and painting around them takes a lot of time and you can oftentimes get paint on the plates and stuff and it just makes kind of a mess. It's really easy to take out the screws and just remove the plate. That way you can roll right up next to it and not have to worry about getting your brush out and going around them all. It saves a lot of time and really it looks nicer when it's finished so you don't get this sort of picture framing around all your switch plates because you've done it with a brush and your plates stay nice and clean and while you've got them off of there you can take a piece of sandpaper to them and clean them up, put them back on. And it's real simple to do, and it's real quick and easy to just pull those screws and remove the plate. And it saves, uh, saves some time, and it may look a lot better in the end. There are a few places in every apartment or home that you're going to want to hit every time that you're painting. And that's going to be like your outside corners like this. This is an entryway coming in, and this is an outside corner, so people will brush up against it as they're walking by. or you know, get their hands on these edges. So you're going to want to hit these edges every time. Some other places are backsplashes in the kitchens. Uh, if they're not tiled and, or covered with something, uh, then they're going to need to get repainted regularly. Uh, and above showers and bathtubs because they're getting the steam and moisture and so the paint helps protect the walls. So you're going to want to hit those every time. Another fantastic idea is to paint your ceilings and your walls in the same color. So that if you have to touch an area up on the ceiling, you've already got the paint out, you can just roll away, or, and it happens, if you're rolling up the wall and you touch the ceiling on accident, no problem because it's already the same color. It's a good idea to try to keep things consistent. So I try to paint between 70 and 75 degrees so that it keeps the dry times relatively the same and it helps the uh, color match better if it's drying at the same speed. Oftentimes here at Sky Management I'll have more than one apartment to paint at a time and it's more work than I can get to in a day. So to save myself time by cleaning out the trays and the brushes and whatnot, what I know I'm just going to be coming back to it later, I'll just stick the whole thing in a trash bag and it'll stay that way for a week or so before the paint starts to dry too bad that you can't use it anymore. Anywhere that I can save myself some time is a blessing. Anywhere I can save some money is even better. So I hope you found some of these tips helpful. And subscribe down below and we'll see you here next time.